Hey everyone, tonight we're gonna head out to the track. April's gonna make some more passes, probably make her first uh, pass by herself. She's getting the tires switched over. Told her she uh, she wanted to go racing. She had to switch the tires. So <laughs> she's uh, she's done pretty good. She's learned it from doing it all week. So she knows the tools we need. She knows what we gotta do to swap them over. Uh, we're gonna torque down, set down. We gotta go get fuel. So there's pretty terrible. It's around 9,600 feet DA. So I highly doubt the car will go faster tonight, but. We're just going to go out, let her get more comfortable with the uh, car and make some more passes. Just enjoy the car. Made it out to the track. I got a uh, confession to make here. I never put plugs in the Mazda before we went. Like So I bought the engine. It had like 30-some thousand miles on it. And I ran the plugs that were in it. Ran out of time. Just got tired. It was like, screw it. Just go with it. But uh, the whole week... Coming out of the passenger side, when you decel, it'll pop. So I don't know if there's something with the plug. It doesn't throw a misfire code. New plug, old plug. <laughs> I'd say it's time for some new ones. It might be, I bet it's pretty fat. It always seems to be fat, so I definitely need to get a good tune-up in it. But it'll be good to know that it's got fresh plugs in it with them tuning on it. Here's the plugs. I was out of the front bank, which shows that it was rich. So that's probably where the extra fuel was going and then popping. And then these all look pretty good. So uh, April's going to enter into a bracket class. So we we're just gonna we we're just gonna run it like it is. At least this side has new plugs. I'm curious to see if it still pops or if the new plug fixes it, or maybe it's not getting the correct spark. Maybe this front coil is bad. I don't know. Maybe this is part of the reason why the guy wanted to get rid of the motors because it had some weird little issue. Maybe there's an injector issue. Who knows? But uh, we're gonna go ahead and run it and see what it does. It all teched in? Yeah. All right, here April goes. First pass all by herself. she goes first pass all by herself see how she does with the new plugs in it good stage told her to go when the last yellow light lights up got a good light there it goes One ninety-seven six foot, twelve ninety-four at one hundred and seven miles an hour. That was an awesome pass. Twelve ninety-four. All right. So we did it. Twelve seconds up here at high density altitude. That uh, extra plug, I'd say, helped. April in her first driver's meet and pulling chips. She's in the uh, jackpot deal tonight. What'd you get? Blue. Blue is left. Five. So left lane pair five. So I guess this turned into April's racing for the first time. So she ran up there, paid 10 bucks, jumped into the jackpot race. Uh, and then she went a 10 or 1294. So we put a 1290 dial in, in it. The pass that has been here in Pueblo. <laughs> so she, we put a 1290 dial in on it. She went 121 on the light. So I've never actually bracket raced ever. This will be her first time bracket racing, so we're kind of trying to strategize. But uh, 11 yeah, cars, Jack for telling me to sign up to try it. <laughs> so this turned into April's first, I guess, race week was competitive race, her first bracket, first race. bracket race. So go ahead and suit up and try to cut a good light. I think I'm gonna have to She's going to be racing this uh, S10, I think, right here. This one with the flames on it. So. Full out race truck. Let's see what his dial in is, and then we'll uh, figure it out from there. She'll either get caught or she'll be chasing. I'm guessing that she's probably going to be getting caught. So 10 0 is what his dial in is. We're at a 12 9. So she uh, will leave first, and then he'll end up chasing her down. There she goes. First matchup. We got the S10 in the far lane, or what would be, I guess, the near lane. 
So she does another good burnout. Good burnout. So first gear there. Have a roll up real easy. Trying to get her to stage sportsmanlike. Top bulb, bottom bulb. So since she lost her first round, I came in here and I'm playing with the trans tuning. I played with some of the uh, shift scheduling, like max RPM, because I think it might have been hitting the rev limit at like 5,800 and not shifting. Then I came in here and actually lowered the speeds, so it's almost like it was hitting a rev limit before it could shift. So I'm kind of lowering some of that. I also lowered the shift RPM to make sure it's not hitting the rev limit, because uh, the 3-4 shift seems happy, but the 1-2 and 3-4 uh, seem kind of goofy. So gonna play with that and we'll see what it does. April's gonna race her friend Autumn. They work together. So they're gonna have a little friendly grudge match. Since, uh, they both lost in the first round of the jackpot uh, in uh, bracket race. <laughs> so I, I changed that stuff in the transmission. So hopefully it doesn't cut out as bad on the one two ship. See if that helps it. Now that I'm past race week, I wanna start playing with the tune on this thing. the back north goes all the way. <laughs> there we go. Now it is. Ninety-five out of hundred and looks like three. It's a pretty good run. Definitely looked like the uh, one-two shifts helped out quite a bit there. All right, everyone. So that is it. We decided to come grab some IHOP, some pancakes. So uh, Clyde did some street duty, doing some streetcar things, coming to get some IHOP. So we're gonna go ahead and end this video off here. Appreciate everybody for watching. I uh, can't wait to get bring you guys another video. Talk to you guys soon. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next video.